What's up, family? Welcome to Peace on the Streets Radio Show. Hey! And I'm your boy, Prince of the South. And your girl, Mimi, my love. Me, happy birthday, Prince. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. You but guys can call in all day. Prince, yes. welcome back. And it feels good to be back, you yes. guys. In case you all don't know, I had the flu or cold. Well, the doctor said I had a strong cold. And, oh, uh, man, I just had to stay out the station because I didn't want to get nobody, you know, didn't want to get nobody sick. So we take it serious. Yes, when, we do. Uh, around here about when, when, when people get sick. So we're just not trying to get anybody affected. So you guys, if you're sick, stay at home. It's really easy and simple. But you know what? It's a, it's a different way of life now because I'm telling you, back then we all know in corporate – you couldn't take off of work. You would get such a hard time uh-huh. to take off of work or if your kids were sick, to stay home with them or take them right. to the doctors. Uh-huh. It was extremely difficult yes, to was. get that permission. Uh-huh. It was it was like you were abandoning them and it felt horrible. Okay. And I worked in corporate my whole entire adult life until we started Peace on the Streets and when we became independent. Hello. And that's what we promote. Come on. Independent. And th- let me say, the freedom you have to create, the freedom you have when you own your own stuff right. is a beautiful thing. I'll, I'll never trade it again i'll never go back oh no i mean once you get a taste of it and, and see that you can get paid on uh the sweat off your own back yes and 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 what it, it's work now a lot of people uh think because you work for yourself it's easy and all of that now nah, it's hard work but it's it, it's war it, it, it's worthy i mean you'd be like man i am i'm glad that i am have the freedom to work for myself. It's, it's a beautiful thing, but of course you have to maintain yourself, build your own compensation. Yeah. I mean, that's the hard part. You have to get paid. So that's right. You have to work for yourself <laughs> to get paid. If you're not working, you're not getting paid. You're not getting paid. So I mean, that's, it, the, that's the hardship, but I've always wanted my own business to work for myself. So again, Prince, I thank you for this because yes. you helped me make this possible and a dream come true. Hey, you're welcome. And hey, well, and, but you work hard, girl. You do work hard. It ain't like you just sitting around here Looking twiddling pretty. your thing. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I mean, Mimi is always on the grind. She one of the hardest working women that I know. So I do appreciate you, and I thank God he brought you into my Come life, on. girl. Ever since we got together, it's been nothing but elevation. Right. We've been just rising, winning awards um, together. Exactly. You know, being on magazines, getting published, uh-huh. uh, retaining more sponsors, thanks be to God, and just meeting incredible people that are just like us. That's right. So, hey. We love it. Come on. We love this ride. I and love it's it. still just getting started. So you guys can make it happen for yourselves as well. Just know your passion, know your gift, and you can make it a job. That's right. Hey, and then you guys can reach out to Peace on the Streets in case you guys need some marketing. Come on. That's what we're here for. Exactly. If you guys don't know, check out our page, Peace on the Streets Radio, Facebook, Instagram, that we collaborated with other businesses. They have they sponsored us. Uh-huh. We have us. Uh, it's called Slingshot Writers. Right. They're sponsoring us, 3 to one No Fault. I mean, Miss International World. We have so many beautiful people in our lives that we collaborated with. That's so right. if you would like marketing and you'll like your self-exposed independent talent, yes, we do that. Yes, we Small do. Small businesses, we stay focused on that. That's right. Just anything that you have you want to promote, let us know. Even stories, testimonies, even people that own organizations or charities work they do. That's right. Come. Because everyone needs marketing and, and advertising to be able to get Absolutely. your business out there. And this is what we do. So you guys can reach reach out to us and we'll give you, let you look at our packages and we'll work with you. Absolutely we will. But we work hard at what we do. Absolutely we do. <laughs> <laughs> and there's not just us working. We have a team of people that make this possible for you guys to air. So it's a beautiful thing. And we want to work with the small business. We do. We stay focused uh-huh. on that, to be honest with you. So. Yeah, and you know, so you guys reach out to us. Yes. And go to our Peace on the Streets page. It's like go to peaceonthestreets.com or you can... Send us a message on Instagram, Facebook, Peace on the Streets Radio. All right. So we're going to give a shout out uh, to our sponsor. Yes. We want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Miss International World. She'll be on today, Mrs. Angela. By the way, she said happy birthday. This is. Welcome back. And she can't wait to talk to you, Air Force One. Oh, <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> well, we can say Air Force One because she has said that she's going to have a piece on the streets on Air Force One. She said that. And uh, it it can be reality because the um, USA president, they reached out to her to let her know, thank you for getting the cruise ship industry back out. That's insane. Like the White House reached out to (laughs) Miss Angela. And she also was, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it's an award she won 
uh, a yearly award that they they deliver to independent businesses mm-hmm. and she won the award um, I forgot what it is guys but I'm going to find out because she'll be on the air later tonight she's going to tell us an achievement award okay lifetime achievement award Vicious. that's what she got the, All right, at the now. White House the wow. VP Unbelievable. called her delivered to her imagine them giving you a call yes. she would have been there a person if it wasn't for COVID unfortunately uh, right uh, I know Yeah. but they choose a select a few and right. it's actually the people that nominate deliver it to the White House and they choose Hey, oh, Beautiful man. Thing. Go ahead, Miss Angela. We Beautiful. love you, girl. We're going to be on Air Force. I'm just saying. Air Force I, One. I feel it. <laughs> in case you guys get involved in any kind of accident, look out for 321. No fault. They can take care of all your needs. That's right. Guys, if you get involved in any sort of accident. Any kind. Motorcycle, jet ski, slingshot, anything. If you don't know what a slingshot is, like a motorcycle. Right. That, that we assist you guys legally and medically with no cost out of pocket. Sometimes people get discouraged or scared. They think they don't have rights or they think they just, they're at fault. A lot of times when they come to me, uh-huh. they're not at fault. Wow. And they're the victim and we take care of them. Okay. Full force. Mm. It's so simple. It takes 15 minutes. Give me a call and we'll be able to identify if you have a potential case or not. Right. The legal team comes in and they take over. That's it's it. It's a beautiful thing. That, yes, it is. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people reaching out to Mimi. Yes, they have Because a lot of people, it's accidents. I mean, it's accidents every day. So every in case day. you got a family member, friend, kids, and they do have an accident, don't think your case is just uh, swept up under the rug. Reach out right. to us and then, hey, we can see do you have a case or not. I mean, a lot of times people go through the insurances and that's when they get you. The mm. insurance on both parties get you. And a lot of times they cut you. They shortcut it. They're supposed to deliver so much more to you, but you don't know it. The attorneys know it. And they go in and they find this out and they make sure you get delivered all of your benefits because they will not give you all. They will wow. cut you off. And they'll give you the bare minimum. Okay. Sometimes people can't even get their vehicles fixed. That's the bare minimum. Wow. But we go in full force. Okay. We know what your rights are. We know what's owed to you by the insurance. And if you don't, they even go to the other party's insurance and they take care of it that way. Let me say, in Florida, you guys know it's no fault state, right? Right. You don't have to have insurance. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. And so, like, they say, oh, if someone hits me, has no insurance, I'm done. Almost. You're almost done. Yes, you are. Give me a call because we've come in and protected people that the other party didn't have an insurance, but oh, we still got them still in. Still got them in. There's ways of doing it, but these guys uh-huh. are, are legal and the legal team. We work with high-power attorneys here, so they make that happen. But I've seen it happen and I'm very happy to hear this. That's right. Hey, so you guys reach out to 321 No Fault, our right. girl Mimi. That's right, guys. 407 267 7378. 407 267 7378. And when you leave there, make sure you go down Saturday off of Old Apaka Violent Road. We have Slap the Apple Memphis style barbecue. You guys, they cook the meat right off the grill. <sighs> Mimi, do you know a lot of companies don't cook off the grill? I, I actually thought they did. Yes, because of the uh, buildings, uh, they can't get insured in case interesting in case one of the grills burn the building down. So, so there's with, no grilling at all, really. Inside an oven. Wow. Anybody can do that, but with Slap the right. Apple Memphis style barbecue, baby, everything is cooked on the grill, mm, and you're literally watching it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah. So you guys, um, it's mm. 1955 South of Park of Island Road. They're there every Saturday. Go out and check them and let them know. Uh, let them know you heard it right here on Peace on the Streets Radio Show. They're at one of the biggest nurseries in Orlando, yes. Florida. So you go out there and pick you some plants out and flowers. Get your landscape looking good. And when you finish going on over there, get you a slab of those baby back. You're not ribs. gonna. You're not gonna leave without it. You're gonna see it and you're gonna stop. You're not going to leave without without it. Trust me. I see people coming by the load. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and they sell out fast. So you want to get do. there. 1955 South the Park of Violent Road, and they cater to. All events. So in case you need some catering done, reach out to them at uh, Slap the Apple Memphis Style Barbecue. And you can find them on Facebook. In case you do have a... But a, you know what? They do do customer appreciation, don't they? Yes, we do. That's a big deal. Yes, they do. They do customer appreciation days, grand openings, um, anything that you need as a promoting... Company, I, 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 just company outings? Yes. They cater to that. The truck comes on the premises and cooks and caters to that. That's a... All employees coming out. They did a wedding. They also Ooh, do weddings. That's a smart move. Where a person wanted to that's have a, a wedding. Smart move. So they did they do weddings as well in case you want to have that barbecue feel. Because honestly, when for weddings, when you pay for the plates, when you're paying for these restaurants, 
each platter uh-huh. excessive. Yes, it's it is. Re- you pay almost as much as you pay for the wedding. And the as food you pay the ain't feed, that good. Food, the no, it is little. Yes, it's it a is. little amount. Oh, oh, raggedy chicken. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I do not like going to weddings because the food is good and terrible. Yeah, you know what? But when they give it to you, they give you bare minimum, and then if you want more, they don't give it to you. Or if you don't eat it, they take it away. Don't give it back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh the more raggedy string beans <laughs> and the lid potatoes and then hard bread. I mean, good God Almighty. <laughs> and they charge all that money That's for it. That's a smart idea, friends. I wish we'd have known you before. <laughs> yes. Central Florida Transmission Repair. In case you guys have anything wrong with your vehicle from the router to the tailor, <laughs> hey, give them a call at Central Florida uh, Transmission Repair. That's right, guys. Give them a call, 407-203-1217. It's also on our page. Go to orlandostransmissionrepair.com. It's Transmission and Automotive Repair. Full force, they take care of everything. It's 4685 Old Winter Garden Road, Orlando, Florida, 32811. They offer financing and mentorship. Yes, in case you have a young boy, young girl, uh, because, you know, girls are mechanic, too. Absolutely. Do you know my barber now is a female? Oh, how cool is that? She cut, uh, uh, you know where uh, you go. I'm sure she killed they, it. They have a, um, they have really? a, a two on uh, Old Winter Garden Road. Interesting. And so uh, the guy that cut me before, he wasn't there, but I watched her cut. She and uh, She's Spanish, and she killed Get it. Get out, yeah. I couldn't wait to sit in the chair. And she hooked me up. She got all my points right, and she, and she hooked me up. Yes, she is. Wow. Um, and I was, you know, I was like, and the guys, I mean, she she does a great job. I'm waiting for a female. I, I haven't got one yet. Okay. Uh, wow. Yeah, she's right there off Old Winter Garden on. Road. Come on. Okay, what else we got? And the lines are open tonight, you guys. Ow! We're celebrating my birthday. Come on! My birthday is Friday, but we're celebrating it because... um. This is our last show before uh, my birthday. That's right. It might be my last show together in in house because I'll be having surgery right. uh, on the twelfth. But we, I still some kind of way we gonna hook this thing oh, up. Oh, we did we, it before. Yeah, we'll so do it again. I'll be still be on the app. Yes, the surgery ain't gonna stop anything. Happy birthday, Prince! May God bless you on many more, my brother. That God that you're still here and still alive another year. Yeah, thank you, thank you, God, for allowing me to be here. I'll be fifty five years old. <laughs> I have friends that's gone. What? At 55. I just, and I have to say, and I don't want to like bring the mood down, but I just lost my aunt that's 57 years old. Literally yesterday she Sorry passed away. That. So by by you saying th- things like that, I said to myself, that's so young. People are dying so young now. Yes, they are. They're not making it past 60. Right. What's going on? I'm telling you, man. God so, bless you, friends. God th- has you here another year, man. Thank you, and I, and I appreciate it. So you guys can call in. Wish your boy a happy birthday, you- 407-894-1680. Well, speaking of anxious, a lot of you guys was anxious to get out and go see each other and hang out. And Nurse V is on the line, and she's going to see that this anxiousness caution. I mean, they hit another wave. Nurse, Nurse V! v! Hi, hi, guys. How you doing? Is everyone being safe? Oh, yes, man. we are. Nurse V, it's, it's, I mean, I'm going to be honest. It's hitting so many people left and right. I, I, I think it's like the effect of how it started in the beginning. Oh, they're popping. I'm, I'm literally nursery. looking around and I'm seeing people left and right. Uh-huh. Left and right getting COVID. Right. And so I, I know it's serious and it exists for all of us that think it's a conspiracy. Right, right. <laughs> but it does exist and it's it's bad. And right now it's a wave. Uh-huh. Uh, there's several kids in school that, you know, they come back from vacation. That's the hard part. But I see this time they're not locking the country down. The country or the state? Or? Uh, uh, the country, like they did last time when they hit the first time because I guess people are vaccinated. But Nurse V, she's here to tell come us on, that. Nurse v. What's up, Nurse V? <laughs> <laughs> Well, first of all, a lot has to be to do with because a lot of people are vaccinated. So, you know, they do have the vaccine. So they're not going to close down like they did before because they were losing money. Money. Right. So, um, you know, people losing their job. But keep in mind, there's people calling in like crazy. Mm, yes, so, I know. There is a lot of short staff everywhere you go now. I mean, big time. Now is more than ever. Because she, people she's right. Call in. The school teachers are calling in. Mm. The school bus drivers are calling in. Right. Um, this is spreading big time because people still not wearing their masks uh-huh. and have not gotten the vaccine. So a lot of people out there still have not gotten the vaccine. I was at the eye doctor and, and four people had called in. And guess what? I was at the Apple store. And they kicked me out. Did they? They said that they have nobody. They cannot assist me. They have nobody left. Everybody called out because of COVID. Wow. Wow. Yeah. This is this is real and this is bad. This is bad. Um 
Um, supplies were not shutting down yet. I mean, New York is getting there to shutting down. Um, they have you know, strict supplies rules were not yet because, um, but this is spreading big time. You need to protect your children. You need to protect yourself big time. Even if you have the vaccine, you can still get it. Mm-hmm. Right. You can still get it. The good news is hopefully your immune system is not bad. Mm-hmm. That, you know, if it's really low and stuff, you might end up in ICU. Hopefully it's not happening. But there is people in ICU. The hospitals are getting packed again. Uh-huh. This is no joke. The hospitals getting packed again. You know, there's too many people out here, too many people traveling still. And, you know, as you can see, the airlines, they're canceling like crazy. They, they don't have enough yeah. staff. People are fighting you know? in the airports. I've seen Did that. you see that the group that yeah. fought from Miami? Yes. <laughs> they were slugging it. They, they were punching yeah. that they and arrested gonna, them. We still haven't even gotten there yet. We have to wait till at least the end of February to the middle of March to see how many people got is sick. Mm. Who got the who got this virus? Because we're just in the beginning of it. Because the holiday just got done, right? So you're not going to see it to probably February or March. Wow, more when it goes up there, and just protect yourself. You know, just protect yourself because the CDC guidelines is after five days if you're positive, you can go back to work. Um, Do you recommend that, Nurse V? Be honest. Five days. I, you know, I, I that's to see. I, me personally, stay home ten days. Hmm. Yeah, know? that's what they said but at everybody, first. Everybody's different, and get tested before you go back to work. Why go to work if you're positive? Right. But, but they're pushing it because they don't have enough people working. Hmm. Wow. So that's that. That's another thing. They're pushing it. So if people go back to work positive. Guess what? They're spreading it. So this That's thing, ne- it's the way this thing looks like, it ain't going to never stop. Uh, so, years? We're going to be stuck like this. Years? I guess so. Yeah. Because we need the booster we're gonna, shot. We're going to be like this for a while, Prince. it looks like. Because keep in mind that CD's guidelines is different and, uh, and, and other jobs. People that are working in different situations and jobs are telling them 10 days. The CDC guidelines tells you five days. So and there are people going back to work that are still positive after the five days because you quarantine for five mm. days. So Ooh. they're spreading it. They're spreading it. So you what know, is it good to even go? On, still positive. So what good is it to even go lay up for five days and you still have it? You might as well not even went to left. They're saying because you quarantine and your vaccine, you have you got your vaccine, you quarantine for five days. You can go back to work. I'm saying this, Even though. Even if you're still positive, it doesn't make sense. What? But, you know, they're saying you should take a test anyway. But people have to think wisely. Do you really want to go back to work if you're still positive? Oh, they I know I know wisely. this, though, Nurse V. There's people that are getting COVID twice now. Now, my mm. friends are getting hit twice. Wow. And they said the second time is worse than the first. Come on now. And, yeah. I, and they were vaccinated. So I'm so confused right now. Right. I think that, I guess that's what they're saying. It's very confusing. It's very confusing because, you know, if you're positive, me personally, I would stay home. But other people, they're forced to go back to work because they quarantine already. So Mm -hmm. they want them to go back to work. They they don't have enough staff. They're going to tell you to go back to work or you're going to lose your job. That's what I was just going to say. Can they fire your company? If you're positive, they they still want you to go back to work because you're already quarantined. Oh. That makes no sense. Like I, I know, I know a lot of jobs are requesting confusing. it. It's very confusing. Yes, it's very confusing. I I don't understand it myself, hmm. but the hospitals are getting packed. I'm I'm telling you, uh, the hospitals are starting uh, to get packed again. We just had so our it's uncle. Very confusing now, and um, a lot of people, a lot of the nurses, the rehab, a lot of the hospitals. That's it. After five days, you quarantine because the CD guidelines say quarantine, even because you have your vaccine, you quarantine after five days, you're positive, go back to work. Um, some people don't want to, but they're being forced because they will lose their job. Mm-mm-mm, that's sad. So that's sad. that is going around, and that's why it's really getting out there and everybody's getting it. Um, you know, all we can do is pray. And protect ourselves because there's no guarantee. By the end of this, by the end of this time, man, I, everybody will probably end up getting it. Oh, oh. yeah. But- now, I know around me, Prince. I mean, they're getting it to a point that I'm literally missing these guys, and they're getting it. Uh-huh. I just missed a colleague 
that was <laughs> that was coughing in my face, and I walked away. And I put I had my mask on, but I walked away. I'm like, what are you doing? Right. She ended up getting it two days later. Oh man. She she had it already though. Right. And so I said to myself, whoa. And there, it's it could be one per. I was with one person, uh-huh. and that's the one that I had it. Wow. And I say to myself, I think I saved myself. Thanks be to God, is because I walked away. I had my mask on. I walked away immediately. Yes. And I even told her stop coughing in my face. <laughs> so hanging with the crowd, those days are you gone. You need to wear. You need to wear your mask. It is. Still wave. If people are coughing out of respect. Uh-huh. Why are they facing you? And that's that's just, that, why I that walked away. Stay home. Yeah. Very disrespectful. And she she's in the hospital now. God bless her soul, though. She's in the hospital. She has pneumonia now. So I'm, I'm praying for her. Mm. I'm scared for yeah. her. Yes. But it's like that, though, Prince. You can be with one person. You, right. But it's like it's it's like almost like we're the last of the Mohicans. Right. And that's nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> And then, like, everyone I know is sick. Like, one of the guys that work for me, he said he got a head cold, so he didn't come to work today. That's a beautiful thing, though. That just like, like our producer, uh, one of the producers that helped produce the show on YouTube, he didn't come in today because he said he was feeling a little ill. Mm-hmm. So he, he, you know, we, we switched a couple of things outside, but that's how amazing our people are. They, they, they know... And they feel it, they won't come. That's great. They'll protect each other. And I told him, I said, man, thank you for that. Absolutely. Like, no, I'm not coming in, man. I'm, Absolutely. I'm not feeling well. Yep. I was like, perfect. Because we're not trying to get other people sick. We don't. You know? So that's why I stayed out the studio when I was sick. Yes. I wasn't feeling well. It, Even though, thank God, I didn't have the, uh, the corona. But, you know, God. I had a cold. And I was feeling... Really bad because what happened? I had I was catching it I guess from my grandson, but I did an event that that Thursday, and I was out in the cold that night, mm. and then the next day I just woke up. I mean, terrible condition, but it just lasts like four days. How's the baby? That. Oh, he's doing he's good and terrible. What? <laughs> That's good to hear. God bless him. Yeah, he's doing well. I'm gonna have him with me. Yeah, this is the thing. You don't know what you have because you, you know, because the weather's changing, you can have really a cold. Right. Right. Uh, it, it's, I mean, the scary part is you need to wear your mask. You need to wear your mask. Mm-hmm. Don't, do not wear, do not wear, you know, wear it. Everywhere you go, wear it because you're protecting yourself and your family. You know, keep in mind, oh, you can say, I'm never going to get it, I'm never going to get it. Well, suppose you do get it. Right. And suppose it's going to affect you differently from other people. It could be really bad, even if you have your vaccine. You Ooh. keep in mind, these vaccines are supposed to be good for six months, and then you have to get booster shot. Mm. So okay. how much more can your body take? This virus is out there now. Huh. So keep that in mind. Um, we, who knows if we have to take a booster shot every six months? I don't know. But um, it's spreading, and I I. Tell you, protect yourself, wear that mask. Do not be around people who are coughing and stuff. Stay away from them. And in your studio, wear your mask. If you're by yourself in the studio and nobody else is in there, right. all right, then you can take off your mask. But if you have people sitting next to you, you need to wear your mask. Yeah, that's a and rule. You need to tell that person yeah. to wear your mask because now this this virus is really spreading. That's definitely a rule to station. And yeah. you know, for us, we're fortunate enough we're separated. Right, right. Last, but uh-huh. you know, our guest it is a rule. They must wear their masks, even on radio, which sinks because we need to be heard. But that's right. We have to wear it, and that's a big deal. And honestly, don't put somebody on your radio if they don't have the vaccine. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that's what they got to show that they vaccinated. We got to start calling people. Yeah, I, <laughs> I love it. Thanks, Nurse V. Yes. 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 Yeah, because it's starting to spread. Really bad. Would you want somebody in your radio with you no know, without the vaccine? No, no. you got to take. No. All right, That's nurse. We got gotta to take. wrap this part up. Keep mind the school. And the, remember the school now. Then, then they're requiring the teachers to wear their masks. This stuff is serious. Oh, I'm really happy to hear this. Yeah, that's good. No. I like that. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, the, and the and the kids should always wear their masks, but you can't push it because of our, our you know, our senator. You know how that goes. Yeah, we do, and that's, our governor. That's gets a, you know, get us in a bunch of heap of trouble. Yeah, I mean, he, he's just like the rest, like the hypocrites, and just all for the money and the push. Exactly. I guess is he running for election? Is he running for president? Uh, we don't or know yet. He's running for something, and this but is why I we're think in this Trump trouble. Trump is going back. He's trying to come, but this June sixth is uh, uh, uh it, it's not going away. They still locking people up. Behind when they uh, raided the Capitol. Yeah, well, uh, it's, uh, we'll talk about that. That's over a year. Yeah, yeah, we got to we got to hit the commercial right now. Yes, Nurse V. Ooh. We thank you as always. Anything you'd like to tell the people before you go? I would love to tell the people. Please, please keep your mask on. Be safe. Wash your hands. Keep your distance. And do not hang around with people that don't have the vaccine. And if there's someone sick that's coming near your way, 
stay away from them and tell them another time. That's it, guys. It's, yes. it's so simple. It's just temporary. That's we appreciate right. you, Nurse V. Thank you so much for taking your time to let us know the real. That's Thank right. Thank you. All right. Be good and be safe. And Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you. Happy New Year, Nurse V. Me happy birthday, Prince. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. You but guys can call me in all day, yeah, all night, and let me know. Hey, you think about me? I'll just hey, just say happy birthday. That means a lot. That's it. 407-894-1680. Again, 407-894-1680. You know what time it is, Mimi? Ooh, shade tree. Yes, guys. If you don't know shade tree, right? It releases all of the scoop. What's going on in uh? Media stream, pretty much, and yes. high stream media. And entertainment. That's it. Let's do it. It's time for the surgery. This is the one and only Mikel Michaels. So grab your hater blockers. I'll grab mine. Let's get shady. Well, 2022 has just began, and already we're seeing irresponsible behavior from sports players. Nate Hobbs of the Las Vegas Raiders was arrested for DUI in Las Vegas on Monday. According to law enforcement sources, cops found the footballer asleep at the wheel in a parking lot exit ramp at the Cromwell Hotel. Witnesses are claiming that the Raiders player's vehicle was running and in drive when police responded. Hobbs subsequently and allegedly failed a field sobriety attest, which landed him the arrest. He was booked in the Clark County Detention Center. No decisions have been made about his status on the Raiders team as of now. Thanking the Lord that there were no fatalities in this case. Hobbs' arrest comes only months after his former Raiders teammate, Henry Rugg, who was allegedly driving drunk, slammed his Corvette into 23-year-old Tina Tenter. Tenter's RAV4 caught on fire, and she was burned to death. In this day and age, there's absolutely no reason to drive impaired. It's easier, cheaper, and safer to just call a Lyft or an Uber. Let's all pledge to have responsible fun. Let's all pledge to arrive alive. Speaking of taking responsibility, the paternity test results are in and Tristan Thompson, you are the father. True to form, after he was caught with his pants down, Thompson came out on Instagram on Monday taking responsibility of his third child and son that he fathered with Marilee Nichols. People Magazine is saying that Thompson originally was denying that the child born on December 1st was really his. In the Insta post, Thompson gives a supposed heartfelt apology to Khloe Kardashian for his recent actions. The shade is that the baby was conceived in March while Thompson was in Houston celebrating his 30th birthday. Thompson was still dating his baby mama, Khloe Kardashian. Kardashian and Thompson called this relationship quits for the second time in June 2021. According to sources, Chloe was still holding a candle for the Sacramento Kings player. She really thought he may have changed his ways. Well, it looks like a leopard doesn't change his spots. And in the words of Maya Angelou, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. And on a sad note, we did end 2021 in a very sad way. We lost the queen of television, Ms. Betty White. Betty White, I hope you're flying high with your golden sisters. The shade is you just couldn't wait the 17 days to turn 100. I'm not going to question our father in heaven's decision. He needed his angel back at home. Rest in heaven and thank you so much for all of the contributions that you brought to entertainment, social injustice, and animal cruelty. You will always be missed and you will always be a legend. Thank you, Betty, for being a friend. Alrighty, folks. That's all the time that I have to bask in the shade for this week. Catch Peace on the Streets next Wednesday and follow me at the Mikhail Michaels on TikTok for more. The Shade Tree. 
You stay listening, I'll still stay shady. This is Mikel Michaels. Ciao for now. Woohoo! <laughs> Our girl Jackie on the line, me, me. Yeah, we got something to talk about. Jackie, every time we talk to Jackie, we wind up talking 10, 15 minutes. What's going on, Jackie? <laughs> Hey, I'm doing good. We're like pen pals over here. Right? Remember pen pals? That's back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for calling in and wishing me a happy, a happy birthday. <laughs> Don't choke now. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Enjoy. No matter what, even though when you get better, you enjoy it still. Come I know on. that's right, girl. Jackie, do you have a TikTok? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'm saying she needs to she needs to run that. Yeah, because she's such a creative artist. Uh huh. She needs to run TikTok. You get paid off of TikTok faster than you do Instagram. Okay. And so she needs yeah. to be a TikTok. I'm saying I know friends that actually get paid on TikTok. Uh huh. For creative work, and if you don't know how to do that, we'll talk about it, Jackie. Because you're your, a beast. Uh, do you have TikTok? Are, 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 are you she on says TikTok? she does. Yeah. Well, the, consider that. Kill it on TikTok because you actually can get paid on TikTok. And and, okay. she, and her creative, she's very creative. Oh, man, constantly. them eyes, the way she rolled her she's eyes. She's very funny. And throw them shades. So yes. I seen the other one the other and day. And like I said, Jackie, I if you don't know how to create up. this, we'll teach you because uh, we have colleagues that get paid. They're, 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 they 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 live off of social media, and actually, that's their job. Uh-huh. Like, um, of course, they get help, yeah. but they do get paid. Yeah, so we definitely have the link there. Yep, we have to do that. So, Jackie, <laughs> in 2020, are we messing with guys that ain't got a car? I still at home with oh, mama. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. No. How do you pick somebody and on a date? If they are doing that, they they really thirsty. Some they must be really thirsty. Well, but how about he fine, as they that. say, and he got abs, he got good hair, cat eyes, and you know, but he just down on his luck. What do you do from that? He gotta wait to get back on his luck. <laughs> <laughs> somebody, we're not doing that. Not in two thousand and twenty-two. <laughs> No, sir. No way. How do you take a, a girl out on a date? You tell her to pick you up? Would you pick a man up for a date? No. Mimi, you wouldn't? No. Jackie. No. Unless no. I'm dating him and we're together and then something happens. My car. Picture. My car in the shop, baby. But we have to be together for me to see that. No. We're not doing excuses either in 2022 either. Because <laughs> we done heard that all before. Prince, uh. Prince, can you go? Be honest. Can you date someone that... Does it have the same value as you do? Uh, no. No, because I want a woman to be on her game, too. So the, the questions you're asking is the same thing. Yeah, it's for the same to, thing, yeah. right, from for as man. Because you look at it as a, as a dude. Because I've heard some guys tell the women, and they're not even in this position. Hey, baby, you ain't got to work. I'll take care of you. That's foolishness to me. I think hmm. everybody needs to have an employment because it's, it's it's something about it when you can work for yourself and you bring your own money in. And then I told my daughter, that is, when dude said that, and he ain't no millionaire, even if he is a millionaire, that's self-control. That is control. And that's why you should work for your, you know, for yourself because you will be controlled. Because he got to pay for everything. I mean, it, it just makes and sense. Even if he do offer that, you still, you tell your job, hey, I want to work part-time. You should always want something That's for it. yourself. What, you going right. to go to him and be like, hey, I need some feminine products? Right. Uh, right. No. Like you all the time? You dig in your piggy vein, go ahead and go get that. Yeah. yeah. And I need my hair done. And then, you know, sometimes people are funny when they got the upper hand. Mm. When they had oh, the upper man. hand, you say, hey, I need to go get my hair fixed. Nah. Most cases, Prince. <laughs> nah. Control. You Most ain't going to get your hair fixed. You know what I'm saying? So, no. <laughs> I like independent people. I was raised like that. My family, my mom, them, I come from a family independent. And they said, well, no man going to control them. And they met that. Come on. So they said, we're going to work. Mm-hmm. So you know what I'm saying? So I'm all for the independent women. Come on. Hey, stay on top exactly. of your game. Hello. All right, Jackie, we always appreciate hearing from you. We'll be doing real talk tonight yes. around 11 o'clock. That's right. So if you'd like to call right. back in, we got more topics to talk about, girl. I'm going to say this. Jackie, All right. Jackie, give out your Instagram because you're a beast. Give out your Instagram. Yes. Uh, my Instagram is Jackie B underscore three. Uh, TikTok, Jackie B three. That's right. And Jackie's J-A-C-K. I-E? Is that Jackie? I-E. Got yep. it. B-E-3. Cool. Yes. You guys follow her. She's hilarious. And she's been supporting us for so long. She's amazing. Yes, she is. So follow her. Give us some love. We love you, Jackie. Happy New Year, Happy Jackie. Year. Jackie. In the-
the building, you guys. Oh. On peace on the streets, you guys. We're gonna keep these records coming, and after this, we're gonna be talking to Mrs. Angela. That's right, and we have an artist coming up real quick, guys, and he's an independent artist. We're gonna explain that in a little bit. That's right. Oh. Keep it locked. To peace on the streets. Later, Jackie. All right. Welcome back to Peace on the Streets Radio Woo! Show with your birthday boy, Prince of the South. Come on, and your girl, Mimi. Mimi, we got an artist. We do. Guys, we have an independent artist that we're about to air. It's a big deal. Yes, you know, it is. We support them. We appreciate them. Right. And we're making it happen and making it possible for them to be aired on mainstream broadcasts. And you know how many people want to do that and Come have on. never been on? And that's one thing about our show. We have helped so many people. We have made a lot of people dreams come true absolutely and those are not our words right they're not matter of fact Mikhail Michaels with the shade tree which he killed by the way and he is insane he's so gifted no one gave him the opportunity ever right we provided him the opportunity Uh uh-huh he gave us a call and was in tears and said you made my dreams come true yes well we know talent when we see it that's right and we're able to make it happen because we control it exactly that's such a beautiful thing it is when you're helping someone else's dream it's nothing greater than that no it's not and of course it takes a lot to get there he's a professional yes. he already had himself lined up right but what a, a, what a blessing that we can bless others that's right and we're not greedy no we, because we see, some people on. just need a chance that's it if I get a chance all of us had a chance to get here. That's right, exactly. I got a chance to be here. I got a chance. Come on! (laughs) (laughs) And I never forget the chance of the first chance that I got. And I'll never forget the people that helped me get here. Most definitely. They're still in my life to this day. Exactly. Come on. So... Beautiful you ready thing. to play it? Yes, so let's give a big shout out. First of all, we got to give a shout out to Will Gamble. Okay. He's a manager and he's also an AR. He's insane and he's killing it. And he made this possible by networking. You oh. must network with others. That's you right. must respect others. And you must make sure you give them some sort of equal value. Trust me, it works. So big shout out to Will Gamble that's managing Jovi Black. It's J O V I Black B L A. See, his song is called Let Me Do My Thing, and he kills it. Are you ready to air it? Let's do it. Let's go. Big shout out to Jovi Black. Come on. Right here. Man, you know what? These days, with all this free money going around, man, all these getting killed, bro. Let me do my thing. It's best to just stick to your sex, keep your drink, keep striving for the better. You know what I'm saying? Let me do me. Why won't they let me do my thing, man? Let me sing. Oh, man. Let me do my thing, let me do my thing And you do you Let me do my thing Like Jay-Z said, can I live? Big blunt cigars, can of beers Car in a crib All kind of glitz for my wrist All kind of for my guests Living room stretch Looking like a Yukon Mirage Lazy boy, full-time Minaj Let me do my thing Like the white folks to paradise and wear nice on the white coast. Neck and wrist full of ice on her white float. Damn. You ain't get that, man. I said, uh, <laughs> Neck and wrist full of ice, so I might float. Say, man, man, let me, man. Oh, man, let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. And you do Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Killing, killing with my talent, finish straight. Illin' as we blaze up Brazil. Let me do my thing. In the bathroom, gazing at the ceiling. On them toilets that spray you when you finish. Hey, can I do my thing? Man, let me bang. Oh, man, let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. And you do you. Why can't they let me do my thing? Man?
Yeah, that was Woo! black. Right Don't here be on black. The streets. You killed it, an oh, independent man. artist. Big shout out to him and Will Gamble. Thank you for uh, trusting us. Yes. And allowing us to air the track. It's insane. You and guys, it's a great song. We support independent talent. Yes. Don't be afraid. Reach out to Peace on the Streets. We make it possible. In fact, we're going to start. Now, uh -huh. with a new 2022, first time ever, yeah. even here at the station, first time ever, where we're going to start having independent artists in rotation. on rotation. That's right. Come on. So if you guys got your music together and it's clean and uh, you want it in rotation, reach out to Peace on the Streets Radio Show, baby, and we can make it happen. That's right, guys. Just make sure it's radio clean version because that's, that's how it is. You right. can't curse on radio. This is broadcasting, not podcasting, and we can make it happen. That's right. And that was Andy Gibbs, you guys. And the song was called Let Me Be Yo Everything. Interesting. I thought that was like the Bee Gees or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. Is it? Andy Gibbs is one of the Bee Gees. That makes sense because it was, sounds like it. Yes, yes. So, we, you know what? That's we, some good music. We're playing man. Blue Eyed Soul. That's disco, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's something like it. It's in the disco area. I love it. But it's, it's so nice and smooth. Absolutely. And we have the one and the only... Mrs. International World, Mrs. Angela. She's on the line. How you doing, Miss Angela? Oh, well, how you doing? A happy birthday from all of us from Miss International World. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank you. And thank we you. saw Mr. Al watching us, so big shout out to Mr. Al. Hey, Mr. Al. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, Mimi Prince got famous today. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> he got, well... I was talking to a few of my friends over in Washington, and also my cousin uh, in Tennessee. He's got a radio station. He's on the Rockabilly station. Wow. Oh, in fact, yeah, in fact, one of his records hit number one on, uh, on, on, rock, on actual uh, Rockabilly. So, uh, he, Congratulations. He also, does, he also does an Elvis act, but he's, he's got his own act as well, too. So I said to my friend in Washington, I said, you know, I said, if you guys are looking to do something for your weekly radio show and my cousin's looking to do something, I said, why don't we do a contest and say, who is Mr. Air Force One? <laughs> I said, now people are going to think it's the president. So what I do, I fax over a picture of Prince today. So I fax it to my cousin. I fax it to my guy in Washington. Well, they started taking calls on who they would think is Mr. Air Force One. Now, of course, a lot of people called in and said the president, and they said, well, who do you think should be Mr. Air Force One? They said lines were going crazy. People were calling up saying, oh, I guess it's Darth Vader. I guess it's <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> Meanwhile, nobody's guessing it's you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now they're going to do this for a few weeks. To see who wow. could actually come up. And and they said, well, you know, he's down in the Florida area. Very famous wow. guy. <laughs> That's wow. amazing, Miss Angela. Thank you Thank so you, much. Wow. I mean, you always go, I mean, far above and beyond. Above and beyond. She thinks of you, and we're not even like there. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah, it, it, exactly. So when I, you saw when I when you said this fly around, I said, it's Mr. Air Force One. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's been saying it. Man, receive it, Prince. I receive Come it. Come on. I always receive Come it. On. All good things I receive. Amen. Cause that's where you get them when you once you receive them. Yes. When she's told yes, us that true. about Air Force One, I received it then. Oh, come on. So you know I've been speaking it ever since. Yeah. <laughs> I think I yeah, put her in the right. post. And now, that you, yeah. and yes. now once they clear that, well, you, you know, and it's funny because that big snowstorm that they had in Virginia, where I ninety five was closed for like, uh, oh my God, a, a whole night and a whole day. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they had people stranded on there almost twenty four hours. They had. People of Virginia stranded on the road, Prince, for Come almost 20, 12, over 12 hours where they were losing gas and food, and they were calling for help. Wow. Oh, yeah, the truck drivers, uh, the, uh, thank God they had the truck drivers because they were bringing blankets, food, and trying to bring uh, heaters wow. to people in their cars because nobody had heat. They had to shut down, or otherwise they would lose power. I mean, it was crazy. Yeah. Uh, but Air Force One was coming in, uh, and it was making a landing there at the airport, and they said they had to scramble to actually clear the runway with hmm. the snow. They didn't. They said either Air Force One was not going to be able to land, or if it did, it was going to get stuck in the snow. Ooh. Unbelievable. And that's how. It's not bad. Yeah, you know, Lamont. 
He snowed in with seven. He said he got 78 inches of snow. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> it's impossible. Interesting. 78 yeah. inches? I don't know if that's possible. But that, but they were stuck on the road because they were on the highway. And they got and it was bumping over traffic and they couldn't move. They couldn't Just move. imagine being stranded in a vehicle for over 12 hours. Oh, my God. And that's what they were calling for help. I hope everybody had gas. That's, a, that's the problem. They were running out of gas. Wow. And they well, were asking for help. Funny. It's funny. I said to I said to Lamont, but I, I said to him, I said, Lamont, I got to say my condolences. This is crazy. I said, by the way, could you guess who Air Force Mr. Air Force One is? <laughs> oh, that's easy. That's Prince. <laughs> over there. He says, on Prince, on <laughs> Lamont, Lamont knew. Got it. Lamont's <laughs> awesome. Yes, he is. Wait till you meet him. He's amazing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's the one that hosted the show. Yes, he's an actor as well, but he's like everywhere. Commercials, oh. movies. Wow. In California, he, he kills it. That's what's yeah. up. He has a universal <laughs> look. He's insane. Yes. And we should definitely... Tito's working on our date, so we should definitely get a date. But we've got some real good announcements uh, tonight. Um, I just got a copy of uh, Supermodels Unlimited, the 100 issue. And Galia, our former Miss International World, she is in there for Fiskaya, uh swimwear. Mm. Uh, she where she's also in there for the. Um, they have a travel edition, so we got wow. this up in their travel edition. And our big ad advertising our pageant, congratulating us for being in um, Fashion Week in New York back in September. Wow. So you know when you go to the mailbox and you open up a magazine and you see half your girls. Come in the on! Wow, well, he's a great way to start off twenty twenty one. It's a beautiful thing. Did you see the cover of that New Year's um, edition? Yes, I All did. All three girls that oh, won the oh, title because yes, I, I interviewed them on stage when they won. Did so you? I, I I know them personally, which oh. is an honor. Uh huh. And they they're all on it, and they killed it. it it's they're so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Very classy. Oh, I, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, this is this is going to be absolutely fantastic. And now, of course, Walena winning Supermodel of the Year. She is going to be on the cover of, I mean, she'll be on a solo cover of Supermodels on the Wow. Back. Congratulations. I can't, Im- I can't imagine how they feel. We got, we got Landon, that one uh, teen uh, Supermodel of the Year for, the, for uh, Supermodels Unlimited. And then we got uh, Cynthia won the Fresh Face. And then they huh. had the uh, An- Angel Award, and that went to Akshanta. So yeah. I, I have this. I would yes. have, we cleaned up. <laughs> they, they <laughs> all they all are winners. You know, I, I, I said they did and, to the young one. And now tonight, I just got an email that uh, through Pageant Planet, a Miss International World is up for Best in Pageantry Award for 2021. Insane! Yes, wow! Insane! <laughs> We're going to be picked so, up by yeah, a, by a yeah, network. Baby. Trust me. It's just, it's We're, just we're going to be picked up by a network, I'm telling you. They already picked up yeah. my broadcasting network. Come on. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the radio. Uh, that's right. And now, uh, and now Saturday night we're gonna be crowning we're gonna be crowning uh, Karina Miss Portada. Come wow. On. Come on, Karina. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what's good about that because that is really gonna add to the Latin division. Wow. Nice, nice. They're constantly now, active. We've got more incentive because if a girl goes into Miss Latina International and she doesn't win, let's say, the main title, she could now go into Miss Portada. Whoa! That's big. That's absolutely. <laughs> that means they have another yeah. chance. Right. Oh, yeah. That's me. <laughs> so, you know, we're, we're, we are always coming up with incentives. That's right. Very important because uh-huh. there's so many women. Right. And they all have an opportunity. How many women? Is, it's 100. Uh, County. Oh. Oh, yeah, we get, I mean, this year, we intend to get at least 50, 60 women on stage. Come on. Wow. Goodness. That's a big deal to That's a lot. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah, this year here, I think, you know, I think we're going to be over this uh, Omicron, uh, Omicron, however it's pronounced. I think we're going to be over it pretty fast. They say that uh, in New York right now, the numbers are starting to decline. And you know, of course, New York always gets hit pretty, pretty bad, yeah, I right? Do. Uh, because because it's New York City, and you know, you've got not only people working, but you've got tourists. I mean, uh, and let's face it, they they knocked down um, New Year's Eve. They were supposed to have thirty five thousand people. They knocked it down to fifteen. I was looking oh, okay. at that, and actually, I was surprised that they actually had people there. Uh-huh. I was actually really surprised about that. I thought they just killed it, period. But they all were mostly wearing masks, uh-huh. and you know, it was. 
It's a bit, but New York City, they're all on top of each other. So right. it's kind of like. Mean, it's packed. It's, you know, it's. Yeah. They well, they had, yeah, they had to do that because, I mean, you had to be fully vaccinated. In fact, I went to see a, a great concert on New Year's Eve. I actually went to see an oldie show at the Kravitz uh, Center. And I'll tell you, they did a beautiful job with that. Now, if you were fully vaccinated, of course, you had to show your vaccination status and you had to show your ID. But if you were not vaccinated, you had to take the test right on property. Oh, and if anybody tested positive, you were not getting in that theater. Interesting. What? Definitely not getting. And you had to be in there fully masked. Uh, and if they didn't like the mask that you were wearing, they actually Vote. gave you the mask that they thought was proper. Nice. So they did a they did a phenomenal job. And you know, I heard on the news today that yeah, let's face it, COVID's not going to go away. Correct. But there, if we follow the protocols. Okay, there is a way that we can coexist and get back to normal. Correct. You gotta, I mean, it is, let's face it, we all got COVID fatigue, all right? Right. Uh, you know, even the fully vaccinated and the boosted are coming up with, with this particular variant. Uh-huh. But, uh, again, you know, if you wear the mask, I mean, okay, we may have to go back to wearing masks a little longer, but... My take is, you know what, I've worn it a year and a half, almost two years. <laughs> What's another few more yeah, months? Yeah, that's exactly. right. You know, just to get out of it. And it's no joke because my cousin came down with it over the Christmas holiday. Mm. And she's fully vaccinated and oh. boosted. And Whoa. when I spoke with her Christmas Eve, I thought it was her husband calling me. I didn't even recognize her voice. Really? Wow. Yeah. She was really in bad shape, running a fever on and off. <sighs> but luckily... They gave her antibiotics, and she came out of it pretty fast. At least she was vaccinated. See, that's the thing. It's not like we won't catch it yeah. again. You know, if the people got it and they are vaccinated, what they're saying is your systems uh, are stronger for you. I mean, there's a chance that you might come out of it than not being vaccinated. So uh, people don't start tripping out because you're vaccinated and then say, oh, I'm still getting it. Yeah, you still can get it, but the symptoms won't be as bad if you didn't have it. You'll be hospitalized. Yeah. Well, that's just it. You'll get, a, you'll get a, like a common cold Most likely. Or, or whatever. I, I'll give you an example. I didn't, Because when I fell a uh, month ago, I had to get the tetanus shot. Now, a lot of people don't realize that, okay, they think it's for just wounds and, you know, deep punctures. Well, even if you scrape yourself, but what a lot of people don't realize about a tetanus shot. I was out, outside Sunday night, and I happened to get a mosquito bite. Well, I would say in a matter of 20 minutes, you couldn't even tell what this bite was. Oh. Okay, now, Al got a mosquito bite, and he scratched for about a day. Because when you got a tetanus shot, it fights almost every infection out there. That's what's up. Which I did not know. I thought it was just for wounds. Right. No. If you get uh, if anything that comes near you, that tetanus shot will fight it off. I think it's I need off. that. I think I need that because I work outside. A lot of guys that work outside, I'm going to start pushing it. Get that te- te- technical shot because a lot of times I be getting bit by things. I don't even know I got bit. Interesting. And Yeah, and if you do, I mean, t- now something interesting that I didn't know because I had just recently got typhoid booster plus the tetanus. They talked about this on the news, which really, I almost fell out of the car. If you're outside and you, you're barbecuing and you get a fly and it happens to get on your food and you, you get rid of it in a matter of seconds, uh-huh. you're okay. Yeah, you caught me I singing. mean, that's one of the jams, ain't it me? me. You know, it's, it, I remember my parents playing this. Over and over, like I know the disco years because my parents they killed it. Break dance contest, come on, roller skate contest. <laughs> Those are the years. Hello? It seems so peaceful. And yeah. So let's play that real quick. Um, are you, are you able to hear that? I want to introduce Miguel. <laughs> yeah, sure. We're gonna hear that first. Let's introduce Miguel. There is a gentleman from the shade tree. Yeah, Mikael Michaels. What's up, Michael? Hey, y'all. Hey. Thank How y'all you. Doing? We are. We are. Fr- Appreciate your time, by the way, and Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year to you, brother. Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that shade tree you did today. Killed it. You killed it, man. Killed it. And he oh, said God. that wasn't his best. <laughs> and he but killed it. you know it. what, though? I mean, we got to take responsibility. It's 2022. You know, like, it's a whole new year. We should make sure that we commit to 
arriving alive. Like, and what, mm-hmm. I mean, come on. You can just hop in a Lyft, an Uber. I'm faced with that right now. <laughs> and, and you know what? He, he ex- F- F- he's right. FCC, that was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, for that football player that he said that, that killed that young lady, he actually killed her. I, I, I saw the footage, and they had, they had the bystanders watching it. And you saw them on the corner. Oh, he was a little hectic, and the girl mostly that he was with. And they, they, sh- they showed it. They showed the vehicle burning, and you see someone in there, and everyone's screaming. Uh-huh. It was horrific. What? It was horrific. Oh, my god. And goodness. it was because he hit her, and she blew up. Like, that's exactly what happened. Wow. So it was like, it, he's right. Now Ubers are everywhere, and, and you can't even pick up the phone to call a friend. You know, I have I'm blessed to have a lot of people in my life that I'm able to do that. Right, right, right. So hold tight. We can, let's let's play. Let's Shay. play this shade tree. Let's bring back Michael Michaels. Let's go. Let's do it. Well, I got to tell you right now. First of all, it's hard to hear on this phone. I'm on on my cell phone. I'm at my. My niece's 40th birthday. Hey! Hey, Happy birthday, niece! Yes! Like my niece, that means she's 40, so obviously I'm 40. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, dang. He's like, we're getting old. old. Uh, We're getting old. Mikkel, we're going to play you the straight sheet real quick. Play it, So just hold time. Yeah, let's go. Can you say it one more time? We're going to play the shade tree real quick. Don't leave. Bye, honey. It's time for. The Shade Tree. Great job, Michael. Woo! Michael. So Great you know, job, bro. One thing I do want, I want to make sure that we make sure that we say in 2022, like, you know, we gotta we gotta commit to arrive alive. Like, hmm. we shouldn't be out there drinking and driving. You know, we can get, we buy buy buy. What's that car that you can buy now? What oh. Smart cars? The Tesla. The ca- huh. Buy a Tesla if you want to be a, you know, and, dry, and make sure your car comes home tonight. But other than that, then you're an Uber or a Lyft. If you drink one drink, then, you know, you're probably going to get a Lyft home. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's really, I mean, it's so easy. Just, guys, be mindful. Pretty much how you know if you're drunk, if you're tipsy. If you're tipsy, don't even risk it. Because if you get pulled oh, over, you will be it. drunk. You know what I mean? So, you know, the, right? And by the way, Prince, they have a new vehicle. The new 2022s. Now that this, they're trying to make a deal, and this is a, the White House, with the car makers, and they are saying that they're going to install something in the vehicles now, all vehicles, that will detect if you're drunk or not. And it shuts the car down. You know, I'm, I don't, I'm not opposed to that either, though. But huh. I'm, I'm not opposed to that. At least you know that the people that are the other people that are on the road are not drunk. If I could eliminate that, you know... That would be great because people are, who are drunk come out of nowhere. And you're making, like, people who are drunk are taking decisions for a lot of people, you know, a lot of innocent people that are in your path. Yeah, that's it. I, I, don't, I don't oppose to that. I'm just a little nervous on how they're going to do this. If right. Because yeah. well, you know what? I, 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 you know, I mean, once something's taken away, then what else can you take away I, from us? But I'm not opposed to it, but I want to take a strong look at it. But do you it. think that's a little bit of dictatorship, guys? Like, you think that, like, how are you going to tell me I can't drive my car? <laughs> it's just <laughs> drive drunk, right? We can't hear you, Prince. The mic's off. But, yeah, driving um, d- driving drunk. I mean, are they going to breathalyze you? Because if they breath test us and we all of us get <laughs> or tipsy off of one drink because that's the system. That's how they have it installed. I think it's going to be at a, 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 li- a limit. Well, the, the limit now is like if we have one or two, we're done. Like now. So it, at, are we going to be able to judge ourselves still? Not. Are they going to do a breathalyzer? I heard it's going to go in the eye. They're going to like scan the eye. It's crazy. So I can't really say too much because it's just allegations of them as saying it. But it's happening, guys. Apparently, this might be the new the new version of vehicle. So what are we going to do? Buy used cars. <laughs> <laughs> Buy I, mean, I, cars. Can, you know, I, I, I mean, I can't wait until we roll out the cars and it has that feature. You know, like if you think back to the original car, it didn't even have windshield washers. Seatbelts are, 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 are options. You know, I mean, now right. it's a, it's a, it's a, a mandatory, you know, a mandatory um, a feature, right? But I, 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 I don't know. You know, as we move into the days of, uh, I, I don't know. Do I feel okay having a car drive me home? And if I'm if I'm actually impaired, you know, on whatever substance that I may be medically or whatever, you know, I had a good time at the party. Because let's face it, we want to have a good time at the party, but. You know, when does that stop? That certainly does, shouldn't carry over to the road. So is this vehicle, are you saying that this vehicle is going to drive us home? Is that something new? 
they, that just say that one more time. Are you saying that these vehicles are going to drive us home? Yeah, well, I heard that the Teslas, the Teslas can drive you home right now. Right. Actually, you can actually technically they actually have to take out the, the video game feature of the Teslas because. People were dr- literally letting it drive them home, and they're playing video games while the cars drive them oh, home. Oh, that's so bad. That's yeah. so cool. I, I've always said I wanted a chauffeur, but I can't but afford it. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. What? Allegedly. What? Allegedly. Michael. Allegedly but, this happened. A Mike, friend told a friend. Mike, can you hear me? Michael, can I'll you hear me? I'll tell you that. I'm having so much Not trouble friends. with, with okay. my life yeah. today. Yeah, he can, um, no, no worries, Mikel. It, it might be just Prince microphone, but that's that's insane. And you know what, Prince? I think I might. Have, I'm scared to trust a vehicle to take me home. I don't know about this. I don't uh, trust well, computers. I don't, don't want to be fully putting my you know my safety into it. But hey, I have. I'll take a look at that. Yeah. Uh, take a look. Hey, it's the future. It's the future. I it's mean, hey, I mean, I guess there won't be any more accidents, right? If the vehicles are taking control, do you trust that, Prince? No, he said no. <laughs> Well, one other thing I wanted to, I, I, okay, wait, real quick, though, but this is breaking shade, and this is like, mm. I literally just learned about this, because I don't have live TV, so I wanted to tell you this. Mm. I don't have live TV. Okay. I just heard this right before I came, Ooh. like, when y'all called, I was like, what is this? I wish I had live TV. I did not, I'm going to say to y'all folks, I did not watch um, this year, I wasn't live watching um, Dick Clark. Um, uh, New Year's Rock and Eve right. hosted by Ryan Seacrest. However, a certain uh, uh, TV mogul was lit <laughs> on TV. I mean, lit. Like, and I just watched the video. Like, I watched it three or four times. He, he was lit. Andy Cohen. And I, was he like? so who was your bartender? Is what I'd like to know. I can't. I can't. Be- I, I can't believe you're actually calling that out because. I saw that live, and I said the you same did. thing watching him live. When I watched him live, I said, oh, no, he's drunk. And if I said that. Oh, really? Oh, all the way. Yeah, I can imagine. Like, so what no happened to him? So live, not to be rude. You had no business. Like, it, I'm sorry. Wait, look, honey. You it, had no business. It doesn't. It, it, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to commit to this. Next Wednesday, I'm going to know more about this topic. Because this <laughs> just came to me. And Eddie, I am going to go hard for you. Hard for Yes! Boy. Like, but I, I saw it on TV. It's true. I even said, are they going to take him off? Or is he going to stop? But he literally stayed like that all the way to the end. He, do? he was what playing, but he was being so playful that you couldn't even pay attention to the monologue. They didn't even have a monologue. They were just going back and forth like, like, like children. Like, it was, it was, it was nothing. It, it, to the, fo- the pact was kind of like, what am I watching? And that's how it ended up to be at the end. And he was with the other gentleman. I can't think right now, but I think he's on CNN. And I, come on, guys, you gotta know his name. He's got the blonde hair, blue eyes. He was like a superhero. He's oh, come on, we gotta know his name. But he was, he's a big timer. He's on the news media, and even he was giggling so much because how foolish the other. I have heard glimpses of this. Okay, so the name is hard for me to pronounce. Um, oh my gosh, they were talking about a story that I was talking about la- uh, when we were last live. That they, they were mentioned Meadows in this case, actually. Yes. Um, and this is breaking, 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 so I don't have like full facts on this, but the rumor, the shade, the allegedly, it has, it's leading to what's what I'm, the story that I'm seeing is that they somehow rigged the election here in Orlando, not in Orlando specifically, but in Florida. Yes, yes. I'm not saying this. This is the story that I think is developing. Yes. I'm going to give you some more insult, insight on that. That just recently broke, too. It did. So I can't wait till we are, like, live, live. Yes! It, it recently. I mean, they called us out. They called the villages out. The villages is right here. It's, like, maybe 30 minutes away, Prince? And is the villages catered to older older generation so guess what 60 and 70 year olds are getting arrested right now for voting twice and it was by the party the republican party that 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 linked up to trump that linked up to all the hannity hannity is a, a mogul as well and broadcasting apparently he's sending messages to the chief of staff yes saying hey trump needs to say this hey trump needs to uh protest or have the people protest to the what happened in uh what was it at yeah june 6th um, J- june 6th was it that was like a year ago, almost. Wow. That's a lot of planning. I mean, like I said last week, you know, is it better to be a shady administration to your face, but rather be shady in other ways? Like, 
Do I believe that other administrations pull things over us, you know, pull the wool over our eyes, so to speak? Yeah, I believe it. But, you know, maybe, I don't know, it's my opinion, I don't know, but maybe, you know, 45 just did it more in your face. Like look, I say, you know, I say this, Mike, like, Michael, you can't, you cannot here. do wrong and then... And then you can't do wrong and then call out people and saying they're doing wrong when you're doing wrong. So now you just put yourself on the red hot seat. You've got a lot of <laughs> people coming out, though, calling him out. And there's a lot of finger pointing now that it's over. He should just go ahead and do a, 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 a reality show about him being president. <laughs> he, he should, but that, this is what, what irks me. The ones that claim things but no facts about it are the ones that are actually doing it. And then and we're we're calling it out though. We knew that in Florida. We knew that there was more to it. We knew that. I want to know when they're gonna put the handcuffs on him. I, I, that's not gonna happen. I'll tell I you why. I, I, what, that, I can't wait to come back next week and and tell you who who well tell you allegedly who knew this and who led it led it to this and all that. I'm gonna look at this story. This please do literally happened like. 15 seconds before y'all called me, I was looking at that. Please I mean, do. I just, I just seen Andy right before. I was like, wow, this is new. Come Breaking on. Me, the, the network is saying that they're going to have the committee discuss it. On the political it. side, that yeah. was something that just hit real quick. It hit my... That's, so that's funny that it you're did. talking about that. It did. So that's probably on a lot of our, our people who's out there listening list. I mean, I don't know if it's too late if they get calling and maybe they got some more shade that we don't know. I know, I, I, there's right. so much shade in there. I'm so I'm grateful that I'm not like linked up to any of that because it, it just has, it has to be pure for me. Or I just can't do it. Right. And but but that's a, that's a really big like for I I'm, I wish that I wish that I actually broke like that I heard about this story before I heard about Andy because I because this is something real now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it is. Like, I love you, Andy, but you know you can you was lit on camera. That's 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 bump you. Yeah, that but, and he's talking about the new year's <laughs> eve party yeah uh you know how they have the dick clark you know god bless well we gotta sift through though some things are shady you know and i think this is is definitely potential super shade because i'm like did, i really need my, I, Michael, I, did I, he I, get I want to read this story did he get fired is he still working on that network say that one more time did he get fired is he still working on that network for being drunk so if you're talking about, wait, hold on. Okay, one person that is not, it's hard to hear, I'll tell you that much. No, no worries. One, Andy Lott, Andy can no, no longer, uh, apparently, allegedly, he can no longer, and sources are saying that um, Andy cannot work on um, CNN Whoa. again. Wow. That's if we're going back to that. Yeah, yes, we are. No, and that, that's a big feat, though, to, to knock yourself off a big major. Wow. Thing. Yes, you it know. is. And I tell you guys, it only takes one time for you to flop on, on live. That this is breaking. I, you know, I told I'm going to get some more information next Wednesday. I'm a sure I'll leave with this one. I have, All right. I have been saying, though, I, I've been saying, though, no matter what you do and no matter where you go, you're being right. watched. That's right. And if you have I'm a gonna platform. Back, you know what? I'm going to be back live. I'm going to come in live so we can talk about this. We will. I want to I develop. Because like, there's two big things that I definitely want to do. I, I'm sure I'm going to grab more shade. Yeah. Me now, thank you for hitting me up on Mikel Michaels you know, on. At, on Instagram. Thank you for for get, so a lot of people. Y'all sliding into my DMs. Ow! Come on, ladies and gentlemen, we have Michael Michaels from the Shade Tree Pop Culture. Thank you, Mario, peace on the street. Ow! He's amazing. I'll talk to y'all next week. We're gonna get more shady. We're gonna get into it. Come on, right. we love you. Thank you. Ow!